You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. Well, yesterday we did a video involving ESPN NBA analyst Jalen Rose, who decided to go out there and make the cringiest. Oh, wokest social justice video you've ever seen in your life about just how offensive Mount Rushmore was and the fact that Mount Rushmore needed to be canceled up in South Dakota. Then he goes on this strange rant about how the Washington Redskins didn't need, in fact, to change their name. So did the Cleveland Indians, even though I've never met a single Native American offended by any monikers given to any sports team involving any Native American. So Mount Rushmore was offensive to Native Americans, and he was suffering from, I don't know, hell, uh, secondhand offensiveness? I don't get it. I'm not even really sure why Jalen Rose is opening his mouth on this subject. But we can watch that video because he has received an answer from South Dakota Governor Christy Nome, and you can only imagine Exactly how badly she blasted this douchebag. Do you think Washington changed their name from Redskins? I do a show and didn't say that word for eight years. And my co-host David Jacoby, we both said they're going to change the name one day. Why? Because it's offensive. What about the Cleveland Indians? Same thing. Why did they change the name? Because it's offensive. So I want to continue to challenge myself and to challenge you to do something. Can we retire using Mount Rushmore? That should be offensive to all of us, especially Native Americans, the indigenous people. It should be offensive to you. It should be. Columbus, that land was stolen for them when it was discovered that it contained gold. And 25 years later, to add insult to injury, four American presidents were put on what we call Mount Rushmore on the top of the dead bodies that is buried yeah. right underneath. So I call for you and for myself, I'm owning this too. Let's stop using the term Mount Rushmore when we're talking about our favorite rappers, talking about our favorite movies. Okay, so that's all you need to know about this walking, talking douchebag of a uh, no history lesson have an ass, Jalen Rose. By the way, I'm pretty sure in that video he literally came out and said, if you're Native American, you should be offended. Are you now telling other races what they should be offended by? Because if you are, you're an idiot. <laughs> I mean, you're an idiot anyway, but... Uh, wow, that's, that's pretty remarkable. I mean, it was one of the cringiest social justice virtue signaling attempts I think we've ever seen. Now, enter in the governor, Christy Nome, because as you can imagine, she essentially stuck her foot up Jalen Rose's ass in this statement and basically said, not a chance in the pit of Hades is South Dakota or anybody else changing the name of Mount Rushmore. Let's do this. South Dakota Governor Christy Nome has a warning for the ESPN host seeking to cancel Mount Rushmore because he believes the monument is offensive. Can you imagine being a grown-ass man getting up and going out to a beach and then setting down and literally going to the trouble to pull out your phone and record one of the most cringiest, curd-doggest videos you've ever seen in your entire life? I mean, you're a grown man, Jalen Rose. Really? That's just sad. I mean, you need some hobbies. Gnome's words of warning. Quote, not on my watch. That just crossed my mind exactly how cringy that was that he actually went to the trouble to do that. It is just gross. On Saturday, the South Dakota Republican posted a message on Twitter warning, quote, woke leftist. That would be you, Jalen Rose, that the famed monument in the Black Hills was a tribute to four men who helped make America great, and it wasn't going anywhere. The four men on Mount Rushmore were amazing, 
flawed American leaders who helped make America what it is today, the greatest country the world has ever known. Noam wrote, to the woke leftists obsessed with attacking these leaders, I've got news for you, not on my watch. And she did tweet this and attach Jalen Rose's cringy ass video. Noam posted the message in response to ESPN NBA analyst Jalen Rose, who earlier this week had called for social justice activists to rally to force the end to the term Mount Rushmore as a way to define greatness. I mean, really, dude, stick to basketball, okay? Stay in your lane, stick to basketball. God, that is one of the most pathetic pathetic attempts of virtue signaling I've ever seen in my life. It was an embarrassment. Not only that, like I said a minute ago, you're a grown-ass man, and you literally pulled your phone out and went on a rant about something being offended to Native Americans, and you've got secondhand embarrassment, secondhand offensiveness. What exactly do you call this? It's a race for the most woke, and I understand you get brownie points for this kind of thing at ESPN, but this is exactly why nobody's watching. Why nobody's watching ESPN anymore. Actual, outside of live content, guys like Jalen Rose has wrecked that company. Destroyed it. Because people can't, look, I'm a University of Michigan fan. I can't stand to look at Jalen Rose's face. I just can't. I mean, it's, 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 it's awful. He's a cur dog, for crying out loud. Cal Towing trying to get out there, be the most woke activist, pissing and moaning and crying. Dude, grow a pair, for crying out loud. That's crazy to me. You know, I did that video yesterday, and it never even crossed my mind exactly the level of just pure, unadulterated, pansy-ass cringe that is. Wow. That's, oh, that's astonishing. You know, I, I mean, I just cannot imagine being a, a grown man pulling out a phone and going on this this uh, testicularless rant he went on yesterday. And not having something better to do with your time. And I got to commend Christy Nome. Of course, you expect this from her. She's a hard ass, hard working. She's old school. And she hears this and she's like, no, you're not canceling anything. You're not canceling Mount Rushmore because you from Bristol or Detroit or wherever in the hell you're at right now, suffering from some kind of a, a, a offense from Mount Rushmore we're not we're not taking it down we're not we're not canceling the name and i had suggested to jalen rose yesterday well look when we get to the end of 2036 we'll just start the movement to have donald trump's face and ron DeSantis's face also carved up on mount rushmore and then we'll see exactly how GD triggered, you can really get Jalen Rose. Maybe we can actually get some tears out of you this time. Really? God, dog. That's crazy to me. It's absolutely nuts. ESPN is dying as a brand. And it's on guys just like this. Unbelievable. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.